Fucking that bitch on my toilet. Fucking that bitch with the O's. They bit it, they bagged and they look. Hello everybody and welcome to another Max Bikes video and today guys we got some super underrated tracks okay some tracks that should be on the server list people should be riding I don't know why no one's riding them okay it's, it's kind of worrying I'm not gonna lie um, these tracks are completely free I made a video on the first two tracks that Fluke made and um, they were super fun they were a bit challenging I think that might have been a drawback for some people and they were challenging because the soil he used was hard pack it wasn't this soft soil that he's using now which has a lot more grip, it's a lot easier to get power to make it to make these triple ends. So um, if you guys need something, maybe you're newer to the game or you, you know you want to learn Supercross, but you don't want to pay for the Pro Tracks, these might be, I mean, these are the best free Supercross tracks I've ever seen in the game. Like, super fun, super flowy, beginner friendly is the main thing. Um, and I think it's just the, the scaling of the jumps, they're very peaky. And what that allows you to do is stretch a lot of these triples and it makes it just a lot easier. I mean, the landings are a bit smaller, um, but I think at least on this track, he stretched the transitions out a little bit more than his previous ones. And this track is super fun. This is the West track. He's done Northeast, Southwest. Um, and we're gonna do the North one after we ride a couple laps on this one because he put rain on the North one. He put like these 2D animations for rain on that track. It looks super cool. You guys will see what I'm talking about in a minute if you haven't already ridden that one. But yeah, hit that some at that like button, guys. We're just gonna be putting in some practice because we're gonna have a lot of 250 Supercross rounds coming up for the East Coast Championship that I am racing. So we do need to keep putting the work in. Okay, MXGP is coming up, but MXGP is a long season. You know what I mean? I don't really need to be killing it. Uh, towards the beginning. I, I do kind of just want to worry more about Supercross and keep doing good on that because we got sixth in our first 250 main event, which is it's pretty dang good. I mean, my goal is top five in the championship, which not going to be easy, but I think we stay consistent, try to keep getting better. Um, we should be able to do it, dude. It's really all about consistency because um, there's going to be people that miss rounds and people that disconnect or whatever. I mean, it's a video game at the end of the day, so... Yeah, let's lock in right here. My best time's a 50.8, I think, which was a really good lap. I should be tripling in here, but you can also double in. And since these jumps are peaky, you can instantly get another triple through there because it just sends you higher. It, it just, to me, it feels a little bit more realistic than what we usually see people do. And um, it's fun. It's fun. It's flowy. And um, it kind of reminds me of Rube's Supercross tracks. That, uh, that he made for Moto Sandbox. I don't know if you guys remember that track. Very, very good track. That dropped a long time ago. Sand track, um, compound. But his Supercross tracks on that were just, I don't know what it is about the scaling he used, but they were just super fun. And I feel like Fluke is, he's doing his own thing, but it feels kind of similar to that. And he's pumping these things out. I mean, he's pumped four out in the last, I don't know, two, three weeks, something like that. And, uh, I think that's sick, but we're not seeing them on the server list, which I'm confused about that. I don't know if, the, if these tracks are not on the Deddy or what's going on, but I'm trying to do some races on these things. You know what I'm saying? We didn't get Glendale because that race got canceled, but I mean, these tracks are still pretty fun. You can see by this E-Road, I've been grinding these things, but let's see if we can put a heater down here. Little 52-4 there. I mean, my goal is to run a sub-50. I don't know if that's possible with the E-Road, but... E-Road could help as well. Gets a little bit more grip in the corners. Kind of mess that up. Gonna ride it kind of high. Grease that. I think you could probably quad this on a 250. I've just been triple singling. But I could probably try that as well. Scrub these triples. Come on to here. Pick up for this double. Onto the table. Maybe you could call it over the table. I don't know though. There's a lip on that. Okay, that was not a great lap. It was a 52 1. Not bad. Coring's to be better though. Oh my goodness, holy E-Road. I think we drugged the forks right there. I don't know what just happened. Another thing is, I feel like his whoops um, in his first two tracks, not great. They weren't even like skimmable. 
So these ones are much better. I will say they do feel a bit easy. I think you can make them a little bit steeper, a little bit taller. But um, I also understand that whoops are not easy to make. It's not easy to have a good whoop template, so. That's really my only criticism, to be honest. I don't really know what else I'd say that's not good about these, because his tracks, in my opinion, have been amazing. And I'm just surprised no one's playing them. I, I don't get it. Like, super fun. But they might not be on the daddy list. That could be a huge reason. Not sure about that, though. All right, let's go for a heater. Probably gonna have to evade that era, though. See if we can at least run a 51. Cut down here. Still kind of hit it, but we're all right. Fly through that. Little low line off the triple. Ugh. I'm gonna have to go over that quad, bro. I think you can quad it on 250. Definitely can't quad out. I don't know. 450, you could do a lot of weird stuff. You could also jump over that table and triple out. Could be quicker. I'm actually going to try that next lap. Probably quad that as well on a 450. Yeah, I think there's a lot of different lines on a 450, but you can still hit some pretty big ones on a 2. There's a little 51 3. We're getting closer to the sub 50. Cut down. Actually, might be quicker, but uh, kind of get a whoops around. Holy Johnson! Double, double. Up into the berm. Oh my! No way, get this triple in. Oh my goodness! All right, let me try to jump over the table this time. What do we think? I cut this corner. Oh, that's 100% faster. It's got to be. Holy line. Almost died there. All right. That could actually get us sub 50 even with E-Road. That did feel a bit quicker. Even like half a second is enough. We just send it though. Oh, almost lost the front there. Come on. Grab that. I'm gonna go for this quad yet. Little OJ there. We can scrub this. Holy crap. Okay. We didn't gain a lot of time, but this could still work out maybe. <laughs> no. <laughs> Dude, okay, okay, stop, stop, stop. Reset, reset. Dude, I choked that so bad. I didn't think I was gonna even jump over that table. I, I'm surprised I made it that. And then I was like, oh god, I need to finish the lap. Okay, we well, are actually really close there. It's all about like this corner though. Okay, that was actually really good. Good whoops run as well. Nice. Scrub that. Okay, I probably should scrub that better. Still right here, though. Scrub it up, dub. Oh, I messed up. Crikey. It's fine. We can start on a good lap here. Go. Come on, come on, come on. Fifty point. Okay, that was actually kind of slow. <laughs> that was a fifty-one. All right, let's go again. One more, one more, one more, and then we'll go to the go to the other track. Okay, let's go. Kind of far behind, but if we hit the line. No, Troy. Oh, I went for the quad. You could definitely quad that. Okay, I mean, we're not going to get it, I don't think. Oh, 
front end. All right. That was fun. I mean, you guys just saw that. That little progression, getting every, you know, little 10th, getting new lines. Dude, these tracks, I'm telling you, dude, this dude's figured something out. It's fun. All right, boys. We're on the north track, and as you guys can see, we got some snow coming down. Or rain. It might actually be snow. I said rain, but I don't know. I think it's rain. It definitely looks like snow, though. I might be delusional, but... Anyway, this track is extremely fun as well, and you guys can see I've already read it up a ton. Um, this one, I think, was scaled down a lot, like, almost a little bit too much. I think some of the berms are a bit too tight, but, I mean, it's nothing crazy. I think this track is probably the easiest one he's dropped, so if you're a newer player, I would recommend you get on this track. Um, Visibility's not the greatest with the, with the snow or the rain or whatever, but still a super fun track, and uh, there's different line options, especially, I think... Some of these triple ends are super hard for newer players just because they're not great at cornering yet. You don't really know the lean angles and stuff. You don't have that muscle memory. But um, what he does with most of his rhythms is he makes it so where you can double in and then triple through the rest of the rhythm, which as a new player, that makes the tracks a lot more fun than just doubling through and never getting to triple. So um, keep that in mind, especially for that rhythm that's super long to my left there. You can just double and then triple through. So... There's alternate lines, even on the 250. 450, you can do crazy stuff on this track. Um, you might be able to do on the 252. I know you can jump over this table and over this single and then quad out on the 450. I don't know if you can do it on the 250 or not. I'll probably try that in this video if I remember. And then since a lot of people are gonna ask about my setup, I th <laughs> I'm i gonna try to, sh to show you guys at the end of the video. If I forget, dude, I'm sorry, okay? I forgot so many times, dude. The amount of videos I've uploaded and then I'll check the comments and it's like, you said you're gonna show the setup and you didn't. I'm like, right. <laughs> so that's, I mean, it's completely my fault. I just, I just be forgetting, dude. Like, it's not that I don't wanna show it. I just finish the video and I'm just on to the next thing instantly. So hopefully we'll remember, we should remember. Gonna keep hitting this line. I need to run a good lap. I wonder if you could go inside and then triple. I don't think you can. That, the triple end's kind of hard just because the landing is bigger than the takeoff. You saw that in Glendale where Nate Thrasher um, basically died. Um, same type of triple as that. It's where the face is pretty small and you got a seat bounce over the landing, which is, you know, taller. It's very daunting. Like, that's something I could literally never do in real life. Even if I had the skill to do it, I don't think mentally I could jump something where the landing is higher than the takeoff. At least in the context of a super cross track backflip. Um, yeah, that's just scary, dude. I don't... It's hard to do. But, you know, we do, we do it in a video game because it's a lot easier. And when you crash, you have no consequences. But uh, I need to lock in here. Let's see if we can hit this crazy line. Yeah, I mean, you could probably... I know you can definitely jump over that single, because I almost had it there. I don't think you could quad, though, on a 250. I'm not sure, though. Okay, let's start flowing again. I'm getting a little... Get a little too sloppy. Okay, let's go for a heater here. Quad into this, double out, triple, use the berm because you rutted it. You could quad over that on a 452. 250, probably not. That road is deep. I've been jumping through these whoops. You can actually skim these, but I feel like jumping's better. I feel more like East Coast type of whoops. I don't think jumping over that single would even be quicker than the line we already take. Survive. Oh my goodness. That take I think that takeoff has a good amount of erod in it. It's a little bit more booty. Boots you up in the air a little bit more. Alright, we go again. Alright, that was actually pretty smooth. Not gonna go outside. I'm gonna cut this in here. Holy crap. That's what I mean. You can easily double triple still, even on a 250. 
which uh, is super fun, and it just shows you the scaling is... It's mint, bro. It's, it feels so good. Alright, here we go. Oh my god, guys. You can hit him on a 250. Oh, okay. We're definitely going to do that. I'm losing a lot of time just because of the E-Road, but I think if we take that line, we might maybe have a chance. I don't know how much time it saves. Problem is, when we land, I don't think we're going to be able to trip onto the next section. Could be a bit unfortunate, so we'll see. Okay, this is a good start to the lap. These ruts kind of help me. I had no speed coming out of that corner, I'm not going to lie. I don't know what gear I was in, but I felt like I had just zero drive. I was just in one spot, wheel spinning. I think I was in second gear. Maybe I was in first, though. I don't really know. All right, we go again. Come on. Greasing this is important. Actually cut that a lot further in. Oh, I messed it up badly. Really the whoops. That usually helps. Gee, that my lap's not counting. <laughs> There's no way my lap counts. We can't hit the quad either. We OJ'd it. Oh man. We're just too good, guys. We're a little bit too quick. Dude, that that triple in is tough. Alright. We're not gonna hit the quad line, we're gonna run a heater. I actually think we can do it. We don't need any extra time saved. Let's have a good line here. Triple, triple, inside to out. Scrub this. Almost lost the back end there. It was a little bit sketchy. Go act like that never happened. Turn. I'm struggling on that turn. Okay, we're looking solid. How did I just land that? All right, boys, we reset the tires and we're locking back in. Come on. Come on, baby. Oh, look at that. We're already ahead. This is a good time. Good whoops run. Come on. Don't need the fast line. This triple window. Let's go. Okay, he's on my Johnson. 46-3 on a 250. That's not bad, dude. I'm gonna I'm gonna take that. I'm not gonna lie. That's that's a good lap. And it's an E-Road too. Which again, I recommend you guys putting the E-Road up to 1.0. That's what I usually do, and just putting some laps in. Um it'll make you better, man. It, it doesn't make the track like super challenging either if your ruts are like, you know in the right spots, I guess, you know, the lines. Um, yeah, I mean, I just rode the top of most of these berms. Some of these turns you can cut in, like, after the table or for the whoops. But uh, it's also helpful to kind of show where you're riding as well and where you can make changes or get quicker. You might actually be able to ride off the side of that in game time. I don't know how good his cuts are. I wouldn't think they're that good. So he doesn't have tough blocks, but it's more that test track vibe, you know? But, um, yeah, I think he did a great job on these tracks, all four of them. I'd say the, the most recent two, North and West, are two of the best. I think they're the best tracks he's ever made. So, yeah, he's going to keep improving. I don't know where he's going to go next. He's done every single side of the compass. So I don't know if he's going to do Northwest or East, South or what he's going to do now. But, yeah, just want to show these tracks off. They're super fun. Um, I just noticed again, yeah, it's snowing or raining, whatever the hell. I think that's a cool addition. The only critique I have with this, though, 
and I'll show you real quick. So the only problem I have with this snow is you can see how he's, you can kind of see how it's just boxes. The problem is if you're doing like an edit or something and you're filming this way, see how it's like these straight lines because the animations are connected. I think what Kells did with his snow track and other, what everyone else did is they kind of jumbled up how they place these 2D animations. Um, so, you know, you just place them at every angle. Like, I'm not sure how you do that if it's in Blender or whatever, but um, if you place them linear like this, then they just, you get these lines and you can see this way as well. Um, it kind of looks weird and unnatural, but that's literally my only critique with this track as well. Textures are great. Um, environment's cool. But yeah, see you guys in the video. You guys thought I missed the setup, didn't you? <laughs> you got I actually did miss it. This is two hours after I recorded that video. So listen, but I remembered it, okay? I remembered it. It's not too late. Uh, copy everything that's black. This is a pro precision base setup, I'm pretty sure. So link, link to their Discord is in my Discord. So join my Discord. Um, yeah, pretty simple, pretty easy. Copy it down. It's nice. It's cool. Huskamore250. See you next video. Peace.